Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the CyanogenMod 9 uh, Wi-Fi Preview ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi only. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM in case you'd like to. I will link to that in the description of the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see, it just booted up, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to skip through all these setups just so you don't have to watch me. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and set, I'll set all this stuff later. As you can see, it takes you through your startup screen. Everything's been very fast. I'm going to skip through all this. And there we go. So it should take me to my home screen. As you can see, make yourself at home. You are now running Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi only. So here we go. As you can see, not much going on on the home screen. You got your apps in the upper right-hand corner. You got your search bar in the upper left-hand corner like like usual. Um, as you can see, it is pre-rooted. You got super user in the app drawer. But uh, some, some things that you uh, might want to notice is, of course, you got your app drawer being a little different going into the widgets here. Like so, it's obviously different from TouchWiz. This is not a TouchWiz ROM, so you're not going to get things like the My Files application all those good applications so keep that in mind let's go ahead and go to settings so go to the settings um, you can select it in the bottom right and go to settings if you so choose so keep that in mind anyways uh, over on the left side you got a bunch of different options of course let's go ahead and go to about tablet first and as you can see Android version 4.0.3 right there CyanogenMod version 9.0 right there it's a Kang so that means that it's not official but, as you can see, Android version 4.0.3, tap on it really quickly, and you should get a little hidden feature. As you can see, you got a nice little uh, hidden ice cream sandwich guy. Press and hold on him, and he will continue to get bigger. And you got some flying ice cream sandwich droids. <laughs> so there you have it. You got that nice little hidden feature if you didn't know about that. Anyways, you got your uh, nice ice cream sandwich over scroll glow. Very, very cool there. On the left side, you got some launcher options, so let's go ahead and go into those. Home screen, there's not many yet, I don't think. I, not too bad. So you got home screen options. So you got a number of home screens if you only use three, two, one. So let's go ahead and set it to one and then go home. As you can see, you can't even move. So you got your home screen options, which is actually pretty nice. Let's go back into my settings so I can go through those. Okay, and other launcher options you do have, um, obviously with the home screen you have transition effects that you can play with, which is very cool. Um, you can have the search bar on or off. Such, it's so small on the tablet, it's really no big deal if it's on on certain phones, such as the Nexus, it is a big deal, so that's why they have that there. Uh, you can re have it resize any widget, so you, not only the basically the stock ice cream sandwich widgets, you can resize any of them. Transition effects when you scroll back and forth, uh, indicator as well, you've got those options. Obviously you got little different icons down there, ice cream sandwich icons, which is great. You have some drawer settings, uh, you have transition effects and indicators with widgets. So you got those options, you have dock settings, which don't open anything, so you don't have any of those. You don't have icon settings either. General, you have it auto rotate screen, you can uncheck that if you don't want it to auto rotate. Other than that, you have themes. I don't believe that's in there yet. Yeah, it's a temporary pl placeholder, so th that won't be there yet. You have system settings, though. Um, combined bar, which would be uh, com allow the combined bar to hide when showing a full screen app. So you have that option. Um, notification drawer settings. You can sh have it show power widget, uh, which I believe is in the right side. When you go to settings, you have all your different options right here, which is actually really cool. You get your Airplane mode, Wi-Fi, so if I want to turn Wi-Fi off, oops, sorry. Let's see, so if I wanted to turn Wi-Fi off, I be should be able to just tap on it. Yeah, so there you go, it turns it off, I just did it wrong. Uh, with the um, auto brightness, I believe what you have to do is toggle off and on. Uh, obviously you got your stock ice cream sandwich lock screen where you can go to the camera as well as unlock. Oop. Sorry about that. Um, but camera doesn't work, so don't go to that. <laughs> I believe it'll just force close on you. Anyways, other options, you got widget buttons, uh, other system settings, lock screen settings, nothing yet because it's a placeholder still. Uh, wallpaper settings, you can change your wallpaper within that. But those are just about it for the signage mod settings on the tablet, uh, of course. But it's actually, you got some per performance settings as well that you can go to. Proceed with caution with these. Don't mess with these if you don't know what you're doing. 
But anyways, you got some processor settings where I don't know if you can overclock or not yet, but let's go to the maximum. Oh, you can. So you can overclock it if you want to 1400 megahertz, 1.4 gigahertz if you'd like to overclock or underclock. Um, of course, you can change your governor if you know what you're doing there. Try those out. But anyways, that's that's really about it with within the settings menu. Of course, you can press and hold on the home screen and change your wallpaper. Let's go to live wallpaper. See if see which ones it includes. Um, you got your bubbles, hollow spiral, uh, phase beam, which would be pretty much the most popular ice cream sandwich one. So let's go ahead and set that and check it out. So it does take a little while to load up, and then it should work. Um, Let's go ahead and let that load. Uh, anyways, other things that you have, obviously you got your home button, your your recent apps. So let's go into go ahead and go into some apps so we get a little recent app build up going. So settings, let's go home. Let's go into the browser, which isn't going to work. I'll actually connect to my Wi-Fi in a little bit, and we can test it out. I'll hit home as well. But now let's go ahead and go into our recent apps. You got uh, all of them right here. You can scroll through them, obviously. Very similar to how it was on Honeycomb. and But this time you can actually swipe to exit out of them or get rid of them off of your recent applications. So there we go. I'm actually pretty... Don't really get why the phase beam wallpaper, live wallpaper is not working. Um, it, it might be a bug. You can actually try and get it from the market. I, I, you can just search for phase beam. But anyways, let me go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi and we will test out the browser. Okay, so I went ahead and connected to my Wi-Fi. Um, also with notifications, you can actually swipe them away. So left or right, you just kind of swipe it away and it goes away, which is actually very cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and go check out the browser. So let's go to the browser, see what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it loads right up. I am on my Wi-Fi now, of course. But uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. You got your options on, in the upper right-hand corner. Um, let's go ahead and go to settings, see if there's any settings uh, that we can mess with. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary that I see. You can obviously change your text size and such. So you can mess with those settings if you, uh, if you so choose. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and try and go to another... Uh, website AC syndicate dot net. Of course, you got a little different uh, keyboard as well. So let's go ahead and watch it load up. As you can see, everything is very fluent and fast. Uh, really great. No lag whatsoever with the browser. Even with the whole ROM itself, you're really not getting any lag which is great. This is really awesome. It's definitely awesome if you want to check out Ice Cream Sandwich. If you don't need your uh, your camera, for any reason whatsoever. Neither of them work, so neither the back or the front camera work. Hopefully it will in the future. Definitely uh, I'll be doing updated videos on other ROMs as well as this ROM as well as it gets updated, so definitely be sure to subscribe to me. But as you can see, no lag issues with pinch zooming anything. Um, if I go here and swipe away the browser, let's go back into the browser and let's see if it takes me back to that same page. It doesn't. So as you can see, it does kind of exit out of the browser for you when you uh, swipe it away. So let's go ahead and hit home, swipe it away, exit out of it. So there you have it. Uh, obviously, you can press and hold on things to add them to the home screen. So if you want to add the browser to the home screen or a certain widget, you just press and hold on them. You can actually uh, resize widgets as well, which is great. So let's go ahead and add that. Press and hold on the widget, let go of it, and you'll see some dots around the, uh, the widget itself. You can actually just press on the dot and drag down, and you can pretty much resize it any way you want, whether you want to add it out or in. They are um, scrollable as well. Just tap outside of it. You can scroll through these some of the widgets as well. So that's actually a really cool feature as well. I believe um, you can take a screenshot. To be honest, I don't know. Let's try uh, volume down and power button. That's what it is on phone. So let's try Oh, it worked. <laughs> so press and hold volume down and power button at the same time and it takes a screenshot for you. So there you have it. I guess it's the same on pretty much any device, phone, or tablet, which is nice. And then in the bottom right-hand corner, it says screenshot captured. Of course, you can flick, flick it away if you don't want to if you don't want to see it. Go to your settings menu, of course. You go to more settings as well. But other than that, that's really about it. That's just a quick overview of CM9, Signage Mod 9, Ice Cream Sandwich on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.